there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I wanted to share what I consider a fairly productive day, at least for me with a three and a half year old and a four month old. As many of you know, I suffer from depression and anxiety. So something as simple as taking a shower and taking care of myself can sometimes be a challenge. Also, when I'm just going to be spit up on soon after, it's easy for me to wonder what's the point anyways. But on this day, we sadly slept in and missed daily mass, so I took advantage of my sleeping kiddos to care for the body that God has blessed me with, even if it is literally falling apart. My postpartum hair loss is ridiculous. It's amazing I'm not already bald. Anyways, next up, I had to tackle Aubrey's bedhead. Filming this brought back memories of some of the first videos that I made where I was styling her hair with a little top pony. Nowadays, I call her Tangles Tangle Monsters, and we use Tangle Monster Spray, or super diluted hair conditioner, to help with the process. This took me at least 15 minutes to brush and untangle, and would have taken a lot longer if I had to style it, but I just went ahead and did a simple ponytail. Aubrey was lucky because Jack woke up, so we cut the hair process short. After breakfast, I did a quick crumb sweep and then got to restocking some kitchen essentials. I began with the juice. I used this little dispenser from the Dollar Tree and it holds the juice from these frozen concentrate containers perfectly. While the juice was heating up as directed, I made myself a coffee smoothie. These are probably one of the main reasons my postpartum weight loss has kind of come to a halt. The other being that Jack has entered his four month sleep regression and I am just not sleeping as much or as well as I have previously. So any prayers for him to start sleeping through the night would be much appreciated. Time stops when I'm falling for you. After the juice was made, I figured I would prepare some more coffee thermoses for Juan and then get to opening and setting up a few organizers I bought for our pantry. I can't wait to tidy it up because right now it is a hot mess, but with Jack and Aubrey being so needy lately, I think it is going to be a full day adventure. My hope is that the process and the end result will be aesthetically pleasing because I do plan on filming it. But if not, I will at least document the difficulties of organizing while having two kids around. So I have to say this organizer from Amazon was simple to assemble in theory, but super difficult in reality. It was so hard to connect the two cylindrical halves that mine actually broke. Luckily, I was still able to somewhat assemble the pieces so that the Lazy Susan would still work, 
but I hate knowing that I have parts that are broken. The next organizer was a little bit more complex in the setup, but thankfully nothing broke in the process. My next task was to take care of Jack's arms. His super dry skin has been on the mend, but still isn't creamy baby goodness. So to care for his arms, I have started to coat the patches with Aquaphor and then wrap the arm in plastic wrap. I'm really hoping that I won't have to continue this much longer. It really breaks my heart to see his arms so dry, red, and sometimes oozy. You hurt me a day several times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with and without you oh I A popular activity for Aubrey lately has been playing with Play-Doh, so that occupied a lot of our time this day, but with the best activities often come the biggest messes. So I did another pass with the vacuum and then decided to do a load and another load of laundry. But of course, after my last load was almost done washing, Jack decided it was a good time for a blowout. So suddenly it became bath time for both of the kiddos because Aubrey just loves her baths. Then we headed on down to the neighborhood park for a little outing while we waited for Juan to get home from work. Aubrey made some new friends and eventually mastered some new playground devices. I'm thankful we have a park so close, but sometimes it would be nice to have something that Aubrey could play with in the backyard. We hope to eventually have a patio cover where I will hang swings for the kids. Speaking of swings, I would like to thank McBob for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this fun, heavy-duty swing with anti-pinch coated chains. The swing seat comes with accessories to hang it from a tree. These belts can accommodate branches of various sizes too. You just have to alter how you mount them. You can also easily clip this seat to a swing set if you have one. On this day, we were at my sister's house, so we were able to use hers. But like I mentioned, we hope to have something in our backyard soon that this swing will be hanging on. I really like how the chains are coated to protect the little fingers in our family and how the swing supports up to 660 pounds. So I can comfortably swing with the kiddos on my lap and not worry about the thing breaking. We picked the red, white, and blue design, but the seat also comes in a variety of other fun designs. 
If you want to get one of these for your kids or someone else as a gift, I will make sure to put the link to the product down below in the description box for your convenience. Again, I would like to thank McBob for sponsoring this portion of today's video and putting a smile on sweet Aubrey's face. Now let's finish off this busy day. After the park, we had dinner with Juan and I cleaned up the kitchen by putting the dishes away. Then I got an urge to do some more deep cleaning while I was kid free and Juan was there. So I vacuumed out the toaster drawer and cleaned the stove, which had gotten pretty dirty in our short time that we've lived here. After unpacking a few more organizational items, I finally got around to organizing my frozen breast milk. It has been on my to-do list for a pretty long time. Sadly, I haven't been able to add more to this stash because Jack is nursing a lot more at night. Before, I would often have to pump one side in the middle of the night because he slept so long and would only drink from one side. But like I mentioned earlier, we aren't sleeping as well anymore, so no need for me to pump. After that, I finished off the night by folding some laundry and then headed to bed. You will see in a little bit that instead of clumping all of Juan's shirts together, I instead fold them in outfit sets. I found that it doesn't make sense for me to separate shirts, pants, socks, etc. just for Juan to put them all back together. So perhaps this technique can be useful in your own home if you guys have like a working uniform of some sort. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching my mundane but productive day. I hope you find the little joys in your day and get something that you've been meaning to accomplish done. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.